values, you know, and I would just name three, digital, uh, ESG, and a third one which is new, uh, because these are the two I think that were not new, um, which is everything that's related to the new world order. So obviously the relocation of supply chains mm -hmm. and what is now called the strategic autonomy of countries, that is also going to be shaping future M&A flows going forward. We're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort. And China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. We had the first quarter event. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love, keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market, you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And right now, Bitcoin and cryptos are pulling back slightly. Same thing with the stock market. But guys, we have earnings. So we see the yields getting pushed down. So I definitely see markets pulling up stocks and cryptos. Remember I told you, it's midterm time. And we see them playing the Hegelian dialectic with Biden and his son. That's all entertainment. Don't let it distract you. But it is definitely funny. The things I've seen on Twitter is out of this world. But guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, volume, tether, USDC. And then plus, guys, of course, we have the Fed repo still over $2 trillion. We know what they have to do. They have to destroy this legacy market in order to bring in the digital economy. We are waiting on that big distraction for later this year that's going to run us into next year. Remember, guys, they have to build the fourth industrial revolution where the robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. Now, we have the BIS calls for global collaboration with central bank digital currency design. And what did we hear from Giancarlo Crypto Dead CBDC in a box by China? The BRICS nations will be first, and then everyone else is going to follow because the dollar is going to be destroyed. It's already destroyed. But the NWO calls the problem, wait for the reaction, and run in with the solution. While the United States dollar reserve currency has fallen, it's going to be the rise of the digital economy. We are seeing the 2030 NWO agenda getting sped up and is moving rapidly. And then, guys, we have Grayscale, 
$18.2 billion in assets under management. Guys, remember, if you're buying and selling hundreds of millions or billions, it's going to move the market. So make sure you're paying attention to the allocations. And then plus they came out and said this lawsuit can last for two years. We know the NWO movies just keep getting better and better. Now getting over into a little crypto news. We have fintech company Black Fridge will issue the first regulated British pound stablecoin. And we know stable coins keep the central banks in control. Nothing but digital dollars, but they're created almost free of charge. We know blockchain gives the NWO the all CNI. Majority of these countries are going to have stable coins pegged to those CBDC. Now in the video of the World Economic Forum, she stated the New World Order's agenda, autonomy of countries. And guys, we know the digital transformation is the go. And with the Fed shrinking liquidity, we're going to have layoffs across the globe. And that's how they're going to move in all these robots, algorithms, and drones. And she spoke of ESG. And we know Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, has talked about carbon credits. Any global agenda by the New World Order, we always see Ripple right behind it. But guys, part of this digital transformation, of course, is cross-border payment. And we know Ripple is embedded in the emerging markets, right along with XLM and the Stellar Foundation. And then we know USDC is on Stellar, the chosen one. And then lastly, guys, we have Terra Projects move over to Polygen's ecosystem. And we saw Polygen launch a fund, and that's attracting a lot of the projects. While the Fed was shrinking liquidity, Luna was falling. Guys, we know this was all part of the movie. And this allowed the conversation for CBDCs, a digital currency that you can trust. But we know CBDCs take away all your privacy. Plus, it can be programmable. Tell you what, where, and when, and how to buy. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows. When it comes to the New Road Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book. Plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, Muto Cryptos, Coinbase, BetU, Binance, and I forget book links and crypto links on the description. The Crypto DJ Stock Channel, Crypto DJ Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chips out, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, with their home stocks, the Sea Red, the Biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks, and you have a wonderful day. Channel that I think central bank digital currencies were concocted in hell by Satan himself. Uh, they are incredible control by governments over everybody's bank account, and they are the, uh, they're going to create a void of privacy for every individual citizen. I think they're horrible, but I think that's where they want to go. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share. But this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory 
to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.